Hello everybody, my name is Sasha and welcome to my channel or as I used to say Tervetulo to my channel. So today I'm going to make a video about uh, differences between Russian and Finnish girl because uh, some of you asked me to make this video after I made uh, like Russian versus Finnish man. If you didn't watch that video then I will leave uh, the link like up here. You can go and check it out. First things first uh, about what I'm going to talk it's um, maybe the way that uh, Finnish and Russian women like treating themselves I mean uh, for example if you go to Russia um, and meet some girl like in the street for example she will just take out the garbage and she will maybe like you know have full makeup and maybe wear some like nice clothes and stuff and uh, like even before for example I had this thing that like this thought that I can't leave my home if I don't wear makeup so because here girls like putting kind of so much effort you know to like they're giving so much meaning to how they look like uh like what others are gonna think about them like their appearance and stuff so and that's why russian girls they're trying like their maybe best to uh look always like awesome of course it's uh, i'm not talking that it's working for all girls but just you know in general in common like uh, if it's a girl who is over 20 then probably for sure she is like doing her nails uh quite often like every month uh she is like uh wearing so much makeup and uh also nowadays it's quite uh common to make lashes but uh that they look like more naturally so and as concerns finnish girls i just noticed that uh for them like natural beauty is also okay so it's okay if you don't wear makeup like to your school like to university or <laughs> if you're going to the shop it's okay to wear like uh, you know some mm, like you know just uh, not some fancy clothes when you're taking your garbage out or something so I think they're like just maybe consider it as more like you know you should like kind of take it more easy and stuff and I really appreciated that and uh, I think uh, there were like so much girls who didn't care so much kind of about uh, their weight because in Russia it's a very big I think uh, theme and everybody is about like oh I'm like looking a little bit maybe not that slimmer as I wanted to and uh, we have now this you know body positive wave as well that um, you know some people they're like uh, showing to others that it doesn't matter uh, how your body looks if you feel comfortable so and in Finland I also noticed that uh, for them it was uh, like for Finnish people it is uh, kind of okay if you you know you're not looking like a supermodel because we are all different and uh, like you have your own rights you know to like to look <laughs> to be uh, like as uh, as you are so to be yourself and uh, it's only ch your choice like how you want it to be so uh, but I'm not saying that uh, like Finnish girls they're not pretty or something no uh, there is actually there are so much like pretty girls and I really admire the fact that you know like some of them they didn't wear any makeup and I really can say that they didn't need to even <laughs> like they all you know just had this natural beauty like um, and I really liked it it's more rela relaxed there so if you're like making some kind of maybe uh, like if you color your hairs with uh, half green half like pink uh, nobody will say that you look like a freak I mean because in Russia probably everybody will look at you and like stare at you and say that oh like what she has done with her hair she looks weird and stuff so everybody will just you know kind of notice you pay attention to you but in Finland it's okay to express yourself through your clothes through your like hairs like you know just with your appearance in common and uh, that's what I like there because um, they're like appreciate these individuals you know like the stuff um, which making you you <laughs> so uh, that was interesting what I noticed but also uh, as concerns like appearance for example I think I told it like I told that fact already in one of my videos about like uh, I think it called weird 
fins or something you can check it here that for example uh in uh, finland i had some friends like girlfriends uh who was like uh wearing for example some mini like skirts like some t-shirts i don't know like some dresses uh when it was winter and they were walking like almost in the summer jacket like in the street and for me that's like weird because come on it's winter it's cold it doesn't matter how you look like i mean uh, you can wear still some jeans like some pants and um, feel yourself at least not freezing so and um, yeah so it's really hard to say for me uh, if there is like such a big difference in uh, you know this beauty sphere for girls or stuff but I just noticed that maybe in Russia the girls like caring a little bit more and also I noticed that in Finland uh, girls also doing these lashes and they really have like so big fashion to have like as much as like lashes as you can so that it doesn't look uh, like kind of you know natural anymore I mean I have now also like uh, lashes like it's uh, kind of fake one or something which is like permanent so you can walk like for one month with them and then they're just falling down and you're making the new one so but in Finland um, they're making it like so yeah maybe fluffy they're making their lashes look so fluffy or volume so they have like so much maybe I will put a uh, picture here how it looks on the Finnish girls and I can't say that it's a bad thing but uh, it's just super common there so it's like a fashion maybe like the way <laughs> Finnish girls doing that so um, the second thing which are different between Finnish and Russian girls uh, it's about their relationship like with uh, men for example um, if you want to get you know into a relationship like in russia with some girl uh the man need to be like to act you know active so he needs to initiate the dialogue he needs to invite you uh to like some restaurants i don't know to uh, go out and something and uh, in Finland it's more common that girl actually inviting like some guy uh, like to go out to have a coffee and stuff because uh, I think uh, Finnish people they have this um, thing that they're caring so much that somebody will not for example that a girl uh, would not get insulted by the guy's action that kind of it's sexual harassment or something so and uh, that's why I think uh, that the girls are taking these like movements these steps of course a guy also can do that sometime but I just noticed that uh, like girls usually more active in Finland and they are that like initiators like who initially you know uh, like making first steps first moves the third thing like the third <laughs> difference maybe which i noticed between uh russian and finnish girls uh and maybe not even uh well yeah it's mm, in girls but also i think it's working for guys as well that for example if you will talk with some uh, russian girl who is like 20 for example i'm 20 and you will take some finnish girl who is also 20 um and you compare them of course all people are different but i think that you will uh, really kind of get get the difference about uh maturity like how mature sort of like yeah mature like uh, maybe russians more than finnish because um i mean it's not bad because like finnish people they just like uh they're they're also quite smart people and stuff i just mean maybe Mm, the main interest because at 20 in Russia I told already this fact also in some of my videos like girls they're already like uh, kind of ready for some serious commitments and stuff and I think that in Finland uh, 20 years old like people uh, they're still like teenagers so they're like super unserious so they're just chilling living their own life and uh, don't think you know about something like like to get like already you know family and stuff so and uh that's maybe a good thing because uh i don't know you just 
you just don't care <laughs> but and you don't need to work actually at your 20s because here are people for example in russia they're really like working at their 20s they already have this like problem how they're gonna pay for their rent and uh like uh, where to get money to eat and stuff um and in finland it's just more easy because well government support a <laughs> good finnish system so but anyway that's just what i noticed the next difference which i noticed that uh finnish women they're so handy i mean at their 20s they're even like 20s they're ready like they know how to cook properly uh, they know how to knit so and uh they all doing you know some of this handy stuff and i think that's so common because like in finland maybe there is less entertainment uh than in russia like especially in the big cities like st petersburg or moscow so uh people if they want to entertain themselves they can just you know go out somewhere and in finland sometimes uh you don't have so much stuff to do so you're just doing something at home some like you know ha ha like handmade stuff uh and i think that's kind of like awesome because um they just know how to do that like how to knit how to make some clothes how to uh like c c make some cakes and uh maybe in russia it's not that common uh nowadays i mean of course it was more common with the old generation so my mom of course know how to knit but i think i tried a couple of times like in my life but i don't know how to do that actually honestly i can even say that I'm still not like doing my best at repairing some stuff. I mean, uh, with needle, I can do that. But um, <laughs> I think that if you will compare my skills and the Finnish people's skills, like Finnish girls, uh, they will do it like way much better. So uh, that's maybe the thing. And also the difference like out of it that I believe that not only Finnish girls, but like just Finns in common that uh, they're having uh so much strong knowledges about their profession like they're doing because uh when they have free time they're just you know they're making some videos if it's like some you know media students they're like uh trying to improve their knowledges their skills because as i said they have less entertainment so they need kind of entertain themselves <laughs> and that's why that's awesome i mean if you take for example some student uh from the fourth grade and some like in russia and some student from the first grade in finland probably they will be in the same level like you know of their skills and knowledges of course maybe not always but most of the time so that's what i admire and uh that's why i believe that it's cool like i mean it's not only about educational system but also about how people spending their time there but yeah i started to talk about like difference between finnish and russian girls and uh hmm, maybe the main difference that um finnish well i think it's also connecting with uh, like this you know growing up like this mature stuff that uh finnish girls at their 20s and russian girls at their 20s they're acting a little bit different in relationships i mean uh maybe it was just like in my city in which i lived like in yansu in finland uh but they have so much drama uh like at the age of 20 i think in russia people already like of course not everybody but most of them uh they're like grown-up people and they're trying to you know make relationships as easier as you can like without you know so much fights so you already kind of know what you appreciate in other person and you're not doing that you know brainwashing stuff and uh, in finland i just noticed that there is so much drama going on maybe for the same reason that sometimes you have nothing to do and you're analyzing so much like you know just like some really unnecessary stuff and that's why it can cause like of so much fights and like you know this that you're trying to understand what's wrong with your relationships and everything so i don't know maybe uh, i'm wrong you can like text your thoughts in the comments down below if like what you think about that am i right or am i wrong but that was just like what i noticed so <laughs> i don't want to insult anybody I really was trying to think um what can be so different between you know Finnish and Russian girls and maybe I come up with an idea that uh we actually in other maybe aspects we're sort of same um I mean we have same mindset because it's not that far so we have same traditions but whatever so we have like just same kind of you know almost same religion 
so and uh, that's why it's uh, not so much different I think that it's maybe strictly depends of course like in individually like on some particular person so and you can't just judge you know all their Finnish or like all their Russians like that's why you know it will <laughs> work that way oh maybe they also mm, just like remembered maybe the other stuff uh, like which are different um, but it also all individually that for uh, Finnish girls it's okay for example to start like their relationship with somebody uh, just by having sex I mean like it's very common there like this one night stand sort of and uh, then like people could like for example never meet each other before so they can meet each other in the club or in some bar uh, like you know stay the night and only then maybe like start to communicate with each other and maybe start to go out if they like the sex and stuff uh, in Russia it's just uh, a little bit different maybe it's more conservative but usually before you like getting you know into sexual relationship with somebody uh, you need to like already start to date kind of so you need to go on at least like couple dates and uh, only then if you see that it's sort of like your person if you like this person uh, only then uh, you like you know kind of letting yourself to the next step like to the next stage and kind of you know accepting these uh, sexual relationships like <laughs> uh, so that that's the difference of course there is also like you know I'm not denying there is like girls in Russia there are girls in Russia who will just you know mm, do same like go with a stranger like to <laughs> do one night stand but usually like in common um, there is this model that uh, you need first firstly to like date each other a little bit to go out on some dates for some couples for example this taking like two months before they are like going to have sex for somebody it's like one month so it's de it depends but um it's not so common you know to start your relationship with just like one night stand also the difference between finnish and russian girl like woman that uh when you're going to on a date like you have to pay like for Russian girl because it's in our mentality that a man is always paying for the girl in restaurant I told same like in the video Russian versus Finnish man and uh, Finnish girl would be okay to separate the bill so but of course if you pay for Finnish girl I think she also wouldn't mind but usually like everybody's just splitting but yeah it was like a difference between Finnish and Russian girls I hope you liked it and uh, like if you actually know more different Differences, then uh, text me in the comments down below uh, I think we will all appreciate to read it so see you guys in the next videos bye